Everybody out there in the YouTube world, it's your boy Dusty Diesel Technician, man, back with another fun review, man. Today, this video for the new techs getting into diesel field or the automotive field, whichever one, um, make sure you get you some power tools in your arsenal, man. You can do this trade a lot longer if you learn how to use power tools and not just regular hand tools. Um, there's three different kinds. If somebody know another kind, let me know. But you have electric corded ones. You have battery power, and then you have air tools, but you have to have an air line. Now, the pros and cons. To me, a corded tool, well, it's okay. You have an unlimited power supply, but you risk overheating, and you got to add that cord, drag around. Um, and you can get electrical shock if that cord gets ripped or anything happen like that. So that's the risk you run. Um, an air line, you have to have a compressor, and you have to have an air line hooked up to the tool. You know what I'm saying? And you had to drag that line around. I hate it. Air tools are secondary to me. I use them when my batteries need to be charged. Okay, now, as far as the battery power ones, this is not 1995. I agree. The old ones used to be crappy. They didn't put out enough power. The battery didn't last long. However, this is 2017. Especially Ingersoll Rand, where I, I, I charge my battery up maybe every three days. And then, on top of that, it's putting out my, my impact range, the W7150, putting out 100, what, 780 foot pounds, 780 foot pounds of reverse torque. And that's competing with with some of the best air, air wrenches, you know what I'm saying? So, because air is supposed to be the most powerful, but, and then you don't have to have a line hooked up to it, straight battery. People always ask me, how the hell that thing lasts so long? That's because of the new technology, man. Yeah, battery power, you wanna pay a little more for it, but I'm telling you, it's worth it. Now, if you got a bunch of hand tools and you had to do a bunch of wrenching and sawing like this, that's a lot of wear and tear on your body. You can do this trade a lot longer if you learn how to utilize power tools. You know what I'm saying? And it makes your job a lot quicker. You can't spin your ratchet faster than a machine would. You know what I'm saying? So learn, spend your money wisely and learn how to utilize them. But battery power in 2017 to me is the way to go. Air tools are secondary. I only hook up my air line to my air tools when my battery need to go on. As soon as they come off, I'm running off battery again. So that's just a tip for the new techs out there, man. A lot of the old the, the old guard of the mechanic world, they're gonna tell you go with air. But this 2017, man, invest yourself in some strong batteries. Don't get any old battery power tool, but Ingersoll Rand, Ingersoll Rand is something that, you know, you can pay your bills with. Ingersoll Rand, go with that. I'm not even gonna recommend no other companies. Rec Ingersoll Rain, I, I can trust those batteries, so I recommend that. Thanks for watching, I'm Dustin Diesel Technician. Y'all know my slogan, subscribe, keep me alive.